Yeah, this album was a really tough listen, and frankly, in some pockets, uh, laughable. Which is why I'm feeling a light to decent one on it. So, Anthony Fantano really missed the mark with this one. If you don't know who Anthony Fantano is, he is like the most popular, I think, album reviewer on YouTube. He has posted thousands of videos, he's reviewed a number of albums that most of us have not reviewed, but we really need to talk about his review of Halsey's last album, The Great Impersonator. I want to preface this by saying that this is not an Anthony Fantano's hate video, but his album review really highlights a misogyny problem that the music commentary space is suffering from. I am not at all an authority on what makes the best music or the best albums in the world, okay? I'm not even, as Fantano says about himself, an expert on Halsey's Halsey's music taste or understanding of these artists are our full capabilities as an artist. And I'm also aware that I might get hate for this video. I am just a very small YouTuber making videos and deep dives about albums and the music industry and music reactions. As Anthony, I'm just sharing my personal opinion on music. But the topic of misogyny is very close to my heart. And there is a lot of misogyny on YouTube and it is very prevalent in the music commentary space. And I thought that Anthony's music video was a good example of that. And a prop to have a conversation. And like my other videos, this one is not like a deep dive that is very curated. I just watched his review, listened to all his album, and I just had many thoughts and I wanted to share that. So this is going to be a shorter format and the writing was way quicker than usual, but if you like that, I might share my opinion more often on this YouTube channel. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Leo. Let's talk about Halsey's latest album and Anthony Fantano's review of it. Hey, editing Leo here. I was in quite a hurry when I filmed this video because there's construction work going on like next to my apartment. I made a mistake in this video I am not using the right pronouns when I am referencing Halsey. They're going by they, them pronouns, and I am using she, her pronouns in this video. This is something that I want to pay attention to. So I'm really sorry I'm making this mistake in this video. Remember when I use she, her pronouns in this video? Actually, Halsey is going by they, them. So if you don't know who Halsey is, she is a female songwriter, singer, performer, and musician. She's been around for a long time. She really was like the it girl in the Tumblr era and she's self-made which is always nice. Recently she released her latest album The Great Impersonator and she had a whole rollout and period of marketing when she was posting pictures of herself like impersonating some artist that she is taking inspiration from and she said that the songs of these albums are inspired by the music of a variety of artists. One thing that is very important regarding this album is the context in which Halsey has written it, because in the songs of this album she is writing about the different struggles that she has suffered in the last years. Because she has been diagnosed with lupus after a long period of time when she has suffered and a long journey of trying to get medically diagnosed. If you don't know what lupus is, it is a chronic autoimmune disease that causes pain and inflammation in like any part of the body. There is not really a limit. It can really depend on the lupus that you have and the person that you are, but it can like change from being painful to like excruciatingly painful and debilitating. Having a chronic disease is really not fun. I don't think that I have to dwell on that. Oh, she also revealed that she's been diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, Basically, it's like when you change your position really quickly, you are going to suffer from your heart beating extremely fast, which is called tachycardia. She's also been diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Sjogren Syndrome, and Mast Cell Activation Syndrome. She also has had a child and she expressed that she suffered from postpartum depression and recently her dog died. And she also has shared that there was a period of time when she thought she was going to die. So. Honestly, it's a lot for a single person. When she introduced her single, The End, she posted on Instagram, long story short, I'm lucky to be alive, short story long, I wrote an album, it begins with The End out now. Whether you like the music or not, given the context and the themes that she's talking about in her album, you could 
expect people to show a little empathy. I like some music from Halsey, but I never really got deeply into her albums, so I'm not the biggest expert. I'm not really the biggest fan, just because I don't follow and keep up with her, you know? But when I heard about all of this, like, I felt compelled to have empathy for what she's going through. And now I perfectly understand that Halsey set herself up for being heavily compared to the music legends that she is impersonating. And musically speaking, you are entitled to your opinion. But it really seems that several people, and Fentano included, have misplaced their critique of the album on the attitude of Halsey rather than on her music. And it spills in their critique of the music. And honestly, when you're aware of that, it's so obvious it's painful. And honestly, when I watched Santano's video, aside from like the music critique, his assessment of what she's talking about and the way she's talking about it in the album is so misplaced that it's actually laughable. It's giving misogyny. <laughs> like I am not an expert on this content, so I can't like use that to do a full review of his character, but this review and the way it's done is misogynistic. And before you jump on your keyboard to call me a crazy feminist, hold on. Because the thing is that even if you are an okay person, if you didn't learn to unpack your misogyny, you can still be heavily misogynistic. Also, I am far from having suffered what Halsey is going through and has been going through, but this year I have been diagnosed with endometriosis. It's a chronic disease that affects the female reproductive system. And honestly, it's affecting my life a lot. So I've been diagnosed for this chronic illness this year, but it has been affecting me for years now. After the diagnosis that I've had, it's like really sinking in that this is going to affect me most of my life. And I've stopped gaslighting myself on the pain that I feel and on how much this is affecting my life. Because having a chronic illness impacts you so much. So I have a bream of an ID of what Halsey can be going through. And even if she was talking about it in the most insufferable way, just shouting in my ears, I would still feel compelled to not care about it. It's also obvious that the people reviewing are not suffering from a chronic illness and Anthony is no stranger to that. So I watched Anthony's full review, it's nine minutes, it's really short, but if you don't want to go through the pain of watching that, I'm going to tell you what Anthony had to say about Halsey's album. Because like this was a tough watch. As I said, I am not really familiar with his content in general because I find him a little condescending like I've watched some of his reviews and I was like okay no this is this is not from me so I watch other people but in this video he is really condescending and it's really not nice to watch regarding the music in itself he had to say this album was props to multi-genre multi-era exploration of music and emotions but he's going to say that she failed <laughs> it is also taking some time to mention some of the artists that she is taking inspiration from and praising them and he also said that it was unlikely that she was going to drop something as impactful as even one of these artists had in their career, and that he wouldn't put money on the fact that she would be able to capture the essence and sound of their music in a way that's flattering. He says that he's not hearing any of the inspiration and references that Halsey is making. And regarding this part of the critique, I don't really have a problem with it, or even with the fact that he graded the album a 1 out of 10 if it was only about the music. And I don't really care about his opinion on how Halsey is not like mimicking her inspirations music as he wishes she had done. To me it was kind of clear that it was like if I had been them, I'm impersonating them but I would still have been me, Halsey, so it's going to be a Halsey song at the end of the day. We all understand that differently. This is subjective, so this is not what I want to talk about. The thing is that Anthony Fentano seems to really dislike Halsey. This is how he's coming off. 
and it really looks like he hasn't been able to work past that to make a review. Because now we're getting into the ugly. Speaking of which, why does every goddamn song on this record sound like it's being written from the perspective of some troubled girl character from those shows? Or, I don't know, one of those like Delaney Rose skits on TikTok where she's uh, pretending to be a character in some coming of age movie. I think that's funny. Most of these like sitcoms or TVs that she is mimicking, they were written by men, most of whom were heavily misogynistic and uninterested in understanding women, which led to them misplacing their lazy vision of women in these badly written characters. Sounds familiar? Mm. Because this entire record has the worst case of main character syndrome I've heard on any pop album in 2024. All of the lyrics on this record where it seems like Halsey is just hell-bent on making sure the audience knows uh, just how uh, dark and tortured and edgy she is. If I ever have leukemia and I talk about it in edgy music, and people have that to say? I think that I am sending bad bugs to them. He also mocks some of her lyrics. Well, they say all dogs go to heaven. Well, what about a bitch? What about an evil girl left lying in a ditch? I honestly don't know why it triggered him so bad. Like, honestly, it just feels like he has a sensitivity about something and Halsey touched it. He says it feels like she's bringing back so many ideas and elements from very angsty rock music from the 90s and 2000s. Really, she only seems to be using them as a means of laundering untold amounts of just, uh, again, childish angst. Do you ever feel the childish angst of having postpartum depression and fearing that your child might be an orphan because you have cancer? Like, <sighs> I was just having this childish angst when I was like 12. This was really silly of me. And expecting us uh, to sit here and wonder at it. You know, just marvel at how mediocre it is at genre switching. Yeah, this album was a really tough listen and frankly in some pockets uh, laughable. Which is funny because this is exactly what we could be saying about his video review. And he then gave the album a 1 out of 10. And you know what? You do you, King. But the good thing is, when I checked out the comment section, it honestly reassured me on the state of the internet because people were not having it at all. I pulled aside my favorite comments. This is the same person who did whole research on Ariana's homewrecking stuff, but couldn't do the same for something much bigger and factual, something that literally shapes the whole album. Funny how easy it is to do research when it is serving, making it easier for you to tear down a woman's work. I don't know. Another one, this review perfectly encapsulates the way people treat chronically ill women and femme presenting people. Thanks, Fantano. And following by as a cancer survivor and a huge fan of your work as a reviewer, this makes me uncomfortable and sad. If you have a chronic disease too, let me know in the comments if you have an opinion about this whole situation. But like for someone who is versed in what was happening to Halsey's, Seeing this review, I don't know if you can feel anything else than like discomfort and sadness because I don't know if there is a perfect way to express yourself about it, but seeing like I listened to the album, it's not as bad as people say it is, honestly, and some of the songs were great, but if women are not writing the most perfect lyrics, she's they're going to be mocked. And I don't understand how people couldn't give a little grace to someone talking about her feelings regarding things that are so serious. Someone wrote, Halsey, I'm scared my baby could become an orphan, Fenteno, main character syndrome. As someone who deals with chronic illness and shared diagnosis with Halsey, this is incredibly disrespectful and rude, greatly disappointing. I hope you never have to endure such pain, suffering and fear of dying, plus having a stranger have the audacity to tell you to get over yourself and say you have main character syndrome because you're scared of dying and leaving a child behind is insane. The lack of empathy is cruel. You will never understand, but you didn't even try to understand. You don't get to reduce Halsey's suffering and pain. 
This album has made me and thousands feel more seen. The next comment is just brilliant. Lack of empathy aside, doesn't every artist have main character syndrome? Tyler just made an entire album about how rich he is and how he's terrified of becoming a father and you seem to loved it. Is that not main character syndrome though? I'm just confused because if an artist shouldn't center their own lives and experiences in their art, then what the fuck do they talk about? And yeah, this is her album, Main Character Syndrome. Anthony, this is a Halsey album. It's gonna be about Halsey. This comment too, I really liked. The idea behind our multi-genre, multi-era exploration was essentially who would Halsey be as an artist in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, aka the artist is still Halsey. She was exploring who should be in different timelines and different fates because in this timeline they almost died. You may have missed the dying part in what you call main character syndrome. Meanwhile, I'd assume the idea of dying and no one you love in this life going with you would be pretty isolating. Who else could Halsey write about but themselves? Someone wrote, I knew absolutely nothing about this album or even much about Halsey prior to clicking on this review. And with a simple Google search, I found out that she had cancer and wrote this from the perspective of facing death. So it's hard for me to believe that Fentano, whose job is music journalism, couldn't do that five minutes of research before making a nine minute review. It's one thing to dislike an album. It's another to completely miss the mark. Maybe he should have brought in one of his guest presenters who would have given more of a fuck. And this is why, I don't know, it really feels like he doesn't like Halsey's personality, which honestly, everybody does them. Like you have a right to have your opinion, but it slipped in the review. And it's painful to watch. So as I said, I listened to Halsey's album. I took the lyrics with me when I was listening and I see what people are talking about when they are talking about edgy lyrics and stuff like that. This has always kind of been like a staple of Halsey. How bad it triggers some people really flies above my head. Like. I don't know what emotions you're dealing with that this makes you this pissed. I don't know, songs like Only Girl Living in LA. Some of the lyrics really hit home when you know that she is suffering from a chronic illness. He also critiqued the song Ego. The song is talking about dealing with fame and projecting a happier version of yourself even though you feel really low, which really relates to how she was doing because like the way he's talking about her is really like oh she's a childish and edgy musician who has main character syndrome we are talking about a woman who is raising a child almost by herself all while suffering from chronic illnesses if i have lupus one day which i really hope won't happen to me i hope people will show me more grace if i express myself in an unperfect way or in a way that they don't like in dog years i see why you could find some of the, of the lyrics cheesy but like here in this song she's talking about her dog dying and she's making parallels with her own thoughts of death because you know she could have died with the illness that she suffered from and that she is still suffering from. He also talked about lonely is a muse. Again, I see why it wouldn't be your thing, but again, it really shows that men don't get what women are going through. And even though the music industry is cutthroat for everyone, like women have this dread, like, because the music industry and music commentary space are really unforgiving. And he just proved this point. We shouldn't have expect him to understand lonely is the muse. <laughs> no, really, he wasn't able to have empathy for the feeling of not being taken seriously when you express yourself through art and only being used for inspiration and entertainment until you are being tossed aside when people decide that you are of no use anymore. This is so obvious, it's laughable. Anyway, I'm very curious what you think. Please let me know in the comments. How you like the music is really up to you. I don't have a problem with his review of the music. But when it comes to the lyrics, I really think that keeping in mind the context in which Halsey has been writing them is really important. So I'm really judging him in this video. I don't want to take that and use that to be my whole judgment of his personality. I guess we all have days when we 
really miss the point and misunderstand. But he could have just said, I don't like Halsey and I wasn't able to look past that to make a review of her album. And seeing Halsey being taken so unseriously after everything that she went through is a downer, honestly. And a reminder that a lot of people in the music commentary space are misogynistic. Like, you're telling me you didn't find Tyler, the creator, suffers from main character syndrome, but you're going to be that cutthroat with Halsey? I guess, like, I'm not an authority, I'm not your boss, I don't know. So yeah, let me know if you like this format where I share my opinion in a way that is quicker, like, I usually make reactions or really deep dives that I take one or two weeks to write. But I had a lot of thoughts on this and I was like, you know what, let's share them. I usually get prepared a lot and put a lot of makeup on when I film my videos, I didn't do that today. And yeah, please let me know what you think about this situation. I am really curious. Like the video and share if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I was your host Leo, bye.